So how do we make virtual memory work? And by making it work, that is, how do we get all those benefits we've seen and not have it slow down the computer? So we want virtual memory to be fast. So before we get there, let's think about exactly what we need to do when we have virtual memory. So for every single memory access, which of these things do we have to do with virtual memory? Well, we've got to go through, we've got to access the page table in RAM. So we've got to go find the page table so we can get the information, the page table entry for the translation. So that's one memory access. Then we have to translate the address. So that's a bunch of operations. Then once we've got the final physical address, then we can go access the data in RAM. So we've got to do at least two memory accesses here, one to the page table and one to the data for every access we want to do, plus all the work we have to do for this translation. So this is a lot of work. Remember, we have an average of 1.33 accesses for each instruction. Now we're going to have to do two memory accesses for each of those, and we're going to have to do all this work to translate it. So this is going to be very, very expensive if we try and do it this way. We've got to figure out how to make it faster. So virtual memory is great. We saw this. We can do all this great stuff with it. But it comes at a very high cost. So every time we go to access anything in memory, if it's data or instructions, we have to look it up in the page table. We need the page table to get the translation from the virtual address to the physical address. So we need to first access the page table. Then after we access the page table, then we do the memory. So we've now doubled our number of memory accesses due to virtual memory. So this is going to be a real problem here. How can we make a page table look up really, really fast? So we need most of the time when I do a page table lookup that it has to be basically instant. Can't slow down my memory access. Can't do this in software. So we don't afford an extra five instructions and a memory access to do the translation. That would really slow everything down. So we're going to have to do this in hardware. We're going to have to build a cache for the page table. So something in hardware that keeps a bunch of the page table around so we can really quickly do the translation. So how do we make virtual memory fast? We use what's known as a TLB. It's a page table cache called the translation look aside buffer. It's a little buffer on the side or a cache that we look into to see what's the translation for this address. So our processor is going to output a virtual address and our memory needs a physical address. In order to make this fast, we have to put something in the middle here. So remember, our full page table is going to sit over here in memory, and we've got about a million entries for our full page table, and each one of them is about four bytes, so it's about four million bytes or four megabytes for our page table. Now, if the processor just tries to go access the page table directly and load back the entry to do the translation, this is going to be too slow. This is how we end up with an extra memory access for every single access. So what we need to do instead is put in a little cache, and this is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to put in a TLB, or a translation look-aside buffer, in the middle here. This is going to be really small, but also really fast. So it needs to be fast because we do this on every memory access. So typically it's about one cycle or less than a cycle to access that, and it's, it's very similar to a cache. So the TLB, if it doesn't have the data, we're going to go to the page table and we're going to load the data into the TLB, just like a cache. And this is slow, but once we've got the data in the TLB, we can do the translation very quickly. So we can do this fast translation to go directly from the processor to the address in memory. So to be fast, however, we need to make the TLB really small. And to make it even faster for instructions and data, we can't use one TLB, so we tend to have one TLB, the instruction TLB for instructions, and a separate TLB, or the data TLB, for the data. On modern processors, like Intel processors today, TLBs are really small. So 64 entries, four-way, not very big, reasonably high associativity. And this is what you get for four kilobyte pages. If you go up to larger pages, two megabyte pages, you don't actually get the same number of entries. You get fewer entries in it, but you still have it being four-way. So remember here, the page table has one million entries for a 32-bit program. And I'm telling you that the TLB has 64 entries. That's a tiny fraction of the total amount of entries in the program. So you're going to realize that we're going to spend a fair amount of time updating the TLB with the current entries. Now, the reason this works well is you have lots of locality. Remember, each one of these entries covers four kilobytes of data. So as long as my program is somewhere in this four kilobytes of data, I'm going to be just fine with that page table entry for a long time. Now, what can happen if we go to access memory? So this is the setup we've got here. 
Our processor is giving us virtual addresses. We go to our TLB to try and do our translation. It gives us our physical address. We go to memory. If it's not in the TLB, we're going to have to go get it from the full page table. So there are two things that can happen. Our page can be in RAM. So if our page is in RAM, the worst that happens is we have to go to the full page table to get the page table entry so we can find it. But bad things can also happen. What if our page is not in RAM? Well, if our page is not in RAM, it's out on disk here, and we know that's going to take a really long time to go access. Now, if the page is RAM, we have two things that could happen. We could have our page table entry in the TLB. So this cache of page table entries is working correctly. In that case, we're going to access it really quickly. We're going to go directly from the processor to the TLB to the memory. So this is going to be really good performance. This is what we want almost all the time, so really fast. You can also have it where the page table is not in the TLB, and this gives you pretty poor performance. So if it's not in the TLB, then we have to go all the way to memory, find one page in the page table, and load it into the TLB before we can go and do our translation. And this is going to take anywhere from 20 to 1,000 cycles on a modern processor. So this is slow. This is really painful. And you might say, well, hey, it's, it's only 20 cycles or so. But remember, we have 1.33 memory accesses for every instruction. We can't afford this very often or it's going to destroy our performance. So these are the good cases where we have the page in memory. Now for the bad cases, we could have the page table entry in the TLB. Now this is unlikely. And it's unlikely because if we've evicted the page to disk, chances are we haven't used it for a long time, so its TLB entry has probably been evicted as well. But if it is in here, then okay, well, we find out really quickly that it's going to take us forever to get it from disk. The other option is that the page table entry is not in the TLB, and we have to go to the full page table before we find out it's on disk. So this case is horrible. This case over here is just slightly more horrible. Not really much of a difference between horrible and slightly more horrible. So in both of these cases, we're going to spend millions and millions of cycles trying to get it from disk. In this case up here, where the page is in the TLB, well, we're going to get it pretty quickly. We're going to know in one cycle that it's going to take us a ridiculously long time to get it. In this case over here, it's going to take a while before we realize it's going to take a ridiculously long time to get it. So basically, if the page is not in RAM, it doesn't matter if it's in the TLB or not, because you're going to spend so much time trying to go get it from disk. So, what can we do to try and make our TLB seem bigger? So we said the TLB here is really small. What can we do? Which one of these things here will make it seem bigger? Well, several of them. So the first one here is making pages larger. So if we have a TLB here, and it's using 4 kilobyte pages, so this is what we have on most Intel processors, 64 4 kilobyte pages, that means that the TLB can cover 256 kilobytes of data. So if you use all the pages in the TLB, it can translate enough addresses to access 256 kilobytes of data in your memory. Now if we change this, so instead of having 4 kilobyte pages, we have 2 megabyte pages. So this is the other option with Intel processors. You have 32 2 megabyte pages. Now we can cover 64 megabytes of data. So by using a larger page here, we can cover enormously more data without having to bring new things into our TLB. So making the pages larger allows us to reduce the number of accesses we have to have, sorry, reduce the number of times we miss in the TLB because the TLB can reach more data. We can also add a second TLB. So most processors do this. They have a much larger TLB, about eight times larger, but it's also about twice as small. So go ahead and put in a second TLB in here. And if we don't find the data in the first TLB, let's go search in the second TLB. This is still a lot faster than going to the full page table in memory, but it's a lot slower than accessing our first TLB. And finally, we can have hardware that fills the page table. So instead of having to go into software here and have software walk over to memory, we can put a little bit of hardware on our processor and we miss in the TLB, the hardware will automatically go to the page table and will automatically load the results into the TLB. And so Intel processors, for example, support this. And this allows you to do page table refills, getting new data for your TLB here, faster than having to switch to the operating system and let the operating system do it.